Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do the little schoolhouse kit. Um, if you want to use my templates, you can download these on my website under dollhousetutorials.com. Look under templates and you can print out some like school things for your walls. That's if you want to do that, you don't have to. Okay, the kit should come with a top, a front, two sides, the front door, and the roof. You should have two sizes of the roof. And what that is, is when you put it together, one's gonna overlap the other, which would make them the same size. Okay, then you have the back, and then you have the base. All right, so the very first part we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to put on the sides like this. So I'm going to use mask and tape as my helper. So I'm going to turn my board over and I'm just going to line it with a little bit of mask and tape. And then I'm going to rip a few more strips and set them on the side so I have them ahead of time. So just kind of just tear them off, you know, maybe like two inch ish strips should be sufficient. Okay, so for this, I'm going to be using some wood glue, and I'm going to line my side up a little bit. The wood glue gives it the long hold. The Loctite Super Glue is going to give it the quick grab. Now I'm going to make sure my tape is out of there. I'm going to move this out of the way and this out of the way since I don't need that right now. And I am going to line my kit wall up right here, even, with both the front and the back. Pull my tape up to hold it in place. I'm going to use my square tool to make sure it's drying straight up and down. We're going to leave that sit like that for a minute. And we are going to grab the back panel, which is going to go here like this. I'm going to put some tape right here. And then if you're going to put the paper on here, you want to go ahead and do that before you put this in here. Otherwise, you can just paint the walls whatever color you want. If you're going to do this, then you really want to go ahead and do it ahead of time. Now, mind you, this is only eight and a half by 11, so it's not going to cover from the floor to the ceiling if you do that. So you're gonna have a little bit up here that you're gonna have to manage. Paint it red, leave it, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So it's up to you entirely what you do. I think I'll just paint my walls rather than using those, but you're more than welcome to print them. And the only reason I'm not doing it is because this is going to be an old school house look and I don't want to have um, modern walls on mine.
now I'm going to go ahead and line this up here, keeping my side even. I'm going to use my little helper tool here and I'm going to pull out that excess glue out of that corner that I don't need. And now that I've got it where I want it, I'm going to put tape on there to hold it in place. I'm going to install the other side right here which is the one that has a hole in it. and also along the edge here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and line that up with the bottom, making sure the bottom lines up. And line it up with this side. Once I have it where I need it to be, I'm going to use some tape to hold it securely. Just like that. Now the next step is to go ahead and glue the face onto the dollhouse. So what you need to do are line glue down here and here and one here. Now I'm going to put a little bit of the crazy glue on here for the quick grab. And just a tiny bit right there on those corners. 
Now this is going to go right in those two holes. It's going to line up and your walls should meet very accurately if you did it right because it's a just fit. Now we're going to sit here and put the roof on. Now one is going to be smaller than the other. So the one that's smaller than the other, you need to frame in like this, not like this. So it goes like that. So this one will go up here and then that one will meet just like that. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the glue here, 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 and here. And then I'm going to put it all along here. Letting it overhang just gently on each front and back. Should be just like that. And then you have a little miniature schoolhouse along the way of being finished. That's what it looks like so far. All right, so now we're gonna put a little bit of glue right here. And right here. And then we're gonna stand this up right there like that and hold your square tool to keep it squared up now you should have ones that look like this you want to go ahead and put some glue right along in here And then right along this edge here. You're going to line that up right with that. Oh, maybe I got it upside down. Oh, I had it right. Okay, so now this is going to go in here and just like that but I forgot to put the glue here you're gonna put a little bit of glue right there and then line it up evenly with that edge
now you should have a single one that looks like this. You're going to put glue on that all the way down. And then this one, it's going to get lined up right here with this edge. Now it's very important that you make sure you have that level. If you don't have the square tools, then you can always measure from the door over and mark a line and then put it on that. Now you're going to repeat that process for the other side. And then you're going to glue that right in there like that. You're going to do the same exact thing for the back piece here. And you're going to square that up. All right, while that's setting up, we're going to go ahead and take this piece here and we're going to be gluing it to the roof. Go ahead and put some glue right along in here. Go back about an inch ish. Then you want to glue this piece to that. So apply some glue right along the edge of this and also on the corner right here. Without gluing your finger to it. Story of my life. I always glue myself to this projects. Somewhere I had my little glue tool. I don't know what happened to it. I dropped it, but that's alright. I'll just wipe it off this way. There it is. Now I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing over here. But before I do that, I am going to take some of this glue and I'm just going to drop it right down there and let it run down that edge just a little bit. And then on this tool, I have a round part here and then a point and then a point. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to run it right down in there so that it can Basically, I'll show you on this side if you can see it. It basically will put glue right down in that seam. And that just gives it a little extra added hold. some glue to this 
and again on this edge. Put a little bit of crazy, um, glue down in there. If you don't have this tool, you can always use like the edge of a toothpick and spread it down in the space. So there are alternatives, but to make life easier for me, I designed those so that I could actually do things a little bit quicker. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and put some glue right along here right along here and then in this little spot along this edge and as well right there ah, put glue on my hand again We're going to let that set up. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build your roof. Put a little bit of crazy glue on the short one. And then on this one, I'm going to do a little bit here. A little bit here on the cross. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this. And you're going to slide it right in that gap. And then you're going to glue this right in place. So your cross should be peeking out the top. And then you should have a triangle that peeks out the bottom with a little hole in it. Now what I also like to do is I like to go ahead and put just a little bit of glue right along the inside edge. And that is to just give it that extra durability while it's there. And I just take that like that and then I wipe some off okay so these are two different sizes here as well so we're gonna go ahead and put some glue right along the edge of this together like that with just a little bit overhanging the front and a little bit overhanging the back. Okay, so at this point you should have a couple of little rectangles that look like this. I'm going to split mine because I just don't want that much on the back of it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I'm going to put it back behind on the back side of here. And I'm going to put it even with the door. It's right along the back side there. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And that one is on the bottom. Mm 
the next step is for the door itself. So I'm going to move this out the way. So you have some that look like that. And you're going to put a little bit of glue on there. Then you're going to glue it just like that. Now you have this piece. If you want to paint this, you can. You're going to glue that in there like that. And then you want to let that set up the handle, put a little bit of glue on it. And set it in there like that. Once you've done that, then you come back to the dollhouse, which I probably should have showed you this first, just because it'd be easier for you to see on camera. Okay, so you see these little spots here? You're going to be taking those little tiny pieces and you're going to be gluing them in there with that hole right there facing upward. Oop. Let me tighten that for you. I guess this would be a blooper because I can't hold on to it. There you go. And then put that right in there. Push it in until it hits the back of that board that we glued back here. Repeat that process for up at the top. Okay, now what you want to take and do the same thing with this roof as we did with the others. We want to put a line of glue on the wider piece right along that edge there. Then we're going to put a little bit of glue right along that edge, that edge, that edge, and then all along this piece here. And then we're going to sandwich these two right up on top of each other, making sure they're even right there. Alright, so once you have that done, also you want to add some glue back here. I forgot to tell you that, so I went ahead and added some, and then I'm going to add a little bit more, let it squish down in there. And 
Now that's gonna dry white, so you're gonna, if you do it like that, then you're gonna have white glue marks, but that's okay, because I'm painting this, I don't really care. Because I took mine off to put glue back there, it wants to keep popping up, so put glue back there first. Now that that's there, then you can attach the door. So you just set your door in there and drop the pin hinges in. Okay, since I'm having a hard time showing you this on camera, I'm just going to show you with this piece here. You basically set this inside here and you drop the pin right down into there. And then once it's in there, then you cut it off and bend it over. And that's it. That's all you do. All right guys, so this is what it would look like. And then you just decorate it up the way you want. And then the little old time desk. There will be a couple of these included in the kit. And I will show you how to put that together in another video. It's not fully dry yet, but there you go. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video.